Hi everyone, welcome back to Spring Web Flux Essentials. In this video, let's start with something that uh, probably you realized. When we are executing the test, we have uh, several debug logs. So as you can see, we have several logs related to debug. But if you try to add uh, resources, like right here, for example, oh, add the new directory this directory is resources then i will copy this application.yaml here and then i will just try to set the login level or spring test or spring framework to info then i will execute all the the tests again and you can see that it is still uh, showing the bug level even though we have here info so this happens because the the context of spring the tests that are running are being executed before the application.tm is properly loaded so in this case the solution that we have is uh, create a new file for logback configuration so you can create logback.test.xml and here you can put some pretty simple configuration. So you just uh, write the XML stuff, encoding UTF-8. And here you add a tag called configuration. And you can remove almost all of this. Just a simple configuration for our logback. Configuration. And here you can tell to include a resource called org spring framework root login basically we want to get the log back from spring boot that's located right here base.xml so we are including this org spring framework boot login log back base xml and we would like to have a logger with name org spring framework and we can only for the test folder we can have the level info okay by adding this one now if we execute everything again you can see that we only have info now so take that in mind when you are, you are executing the unit test you have to add this log back uh, configuration but when we start the integration test you will see that the application .yaml is properly loaded okay i think uh, let's stop for now in the next one let's continue with the integration test so see you there bye